So, Kyle, we've, we already had a little chat with Slingers, but he said uh, definitely tough conditions out there. Would you agree? Yeah, I don't think it gets any trickier. I think lake sailing's always a bit like that, and uh, we had you know good wind shifts and uh, breeze up and down, but you know it was pretty cool that we could still get foiling in those light conditions. Now, you, you spent a lot of time on the AC45s, a lot of time on the AC72s. Obviously, you got thousands of hours looking up and trimming these things. Um, how is this boat to, to sail and trim? Uh, how are the controls, and, and how does it help you sail the boat? Um, well, the, the daggerboard design really uh, doesn't require a lot of trimming. It kind of is self-leveling the way that it's designed. And so um, really you're, you're trimming the sails around that and there's not so much trimming of the board, which, well, it's, it's still... Unlike, a, unlike the, the AC-72s, which was constant trimming. Yeah, exactly. We were constantly trimming the daggerboard on the 72s and this is a bit more set and forget at this stage and it's still very early days, so we haven't quite figured out the best way to sail them. And I'm sure as we get better, um, we'll start con adjusting things more so. But... Uh, at this stage, it's kind of max rake on the board, and um, and it's just a bit of a boat handling in our session. We're just trying to get 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 the big gear in. You'll get to that stuff when you get to that stuff. Right now, you're just trying to figure out how to make her go right, huh? Yeah, exactly. So, so when you when when you finish a day of racing like this, uh, what kind of stuff is on your debrief list? What kind of stuff uh, do you do you have to work on? Um, well, it's all pretty new, and we're sailing with two Austrian guys, the Nikos, the two 49er guys, and they're they're really really good. And so, um, we're we're faced with a bit of a language barrier. They're Austrian, and and we're Australian. So, um, so you don't really speak English, and neither do they. Yeah, exactly. So they often, you know, we have to say a lot of the things twice because they can't understand what we're saying because we maybe talk a bit fast or don't use a proper word. And um, so, yeah, we're, a lot of it's about communication and it's also just trying to figure out what makes these boats go. And uh, every race that we had off, we're trying to study Luna Rossa and CJ and those guys and just see how they're setting the boats up because obviously they've done a lot of foiling and, and they've got good ideas on it all. So we're really trying to watch those guys and, and figure out what makes these boats go. And, and that's what we'll debrief as well. Now, you're obviously a pretty big dude. You spend a lot of time in the gym. How are the loads uh, on the main sheet? Easy to handle, or is it something you need to be a monster to, to do? do? Um, yeah, it's, it's not too bad. It's quite manageable. There's quite a lot of purchase on the main sheet. I think the hardest thing is the Traveller and, and the Jenica. It's a huge Jenica, and uh, it's really made for lake sailing, I think, and um, which may not be ideal for these boats uh, in a bit more breeze because, you know, the, as soon as you get up on the foil, the half the Jenica turns inside out just because you're... It's, 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 you just can't trim it on fast enough and it's just drag so I think that's probably something that you know they might look at is just cutting the sails down a little bit and um, and flattening them off and um, it also when you do that the, the loads will go up because as you're going faster then you need to sheet them harder. Well, it didn't take you long to realize that on the 72 it was jib you know it was it was kite down in what nine ten knots you were you were already on jib only this boat we saw certainly in Marseille we saw 12 knots we were jibbed we were uh, we were no kite you know we were faster yeah. you think it's going to keep the numbers will keep getting lower and lower with this boat just sails without a, a, a a big head sail? Yeah, definitely. I think that the more that everybody sails, the better. I think the limiting factor now is driving. And um, Luna Rossa have done a few foiling drives. We haven't yet. And I think if you can get through the drive and stay on the foil, then you, you don't need the, the big sail. And, you know, we're struggling every drive. We fall off the foils and it's just a you know, it's a big penalty for falling off the foil. So we're better off with the Jenica to have a lower build and, and get going again. So I think as everyone gets better at these boats, um, the Jenicas will come off and the jibs will get smaller. Right. Well, you think a guy like Keiko Bruni can keep up with you when you're uh, when you're working that traveler? I mean, he's 50, I think, and uh, doesn't have arms as big as you do. Mate, I'll tell you, he's he's very very old, but uh, he's also quite good. So uh, yeah, I, I think he'll be just fine. All right, Kyle Langford, thank you so much, brother. Yeah, cheers.